my name is Nicole Clouston. I'm a bioartist who's working with biological materials, but mostly mud from Lake Ontario. A lot of actually working with new media in, tens in terms of research and getting to understand the microbial life inside my sculptures. So I'm actually working with um, mass spectrometry, which is basically a testing technique where the DNA of the microbial life in the sculptures is separated out and you can actually tell what's growing inside them. So I'd say that's probably one of the things that I'm really excited about in terms of the technology that I'm using in the work. Before the exhibition, I'm going to be bringing my larger sculptural work. So basically, um, the work I made, I went around Lake Ontario on the Canadian and American sides of the lake and collected mud from 15 different locations, as well as some different auxiliary sites just around. Um, and I placed them in the acrylic prisms you see behind me in order to grow over time. And what actually grows is the microbial life that's constantly present in the mud. And so what I'm offering during our workshop, or my workshop, is to actually build your own five inch tall version of the sculpture that you can take home and see grow for yourself. Disciplines of knowledge probably shouldn't be so isolated. That we're working in these silos of knowing, um, just being brought up, say, through mathematics, or even just being brought up through knowing through art. Um, that you're missing out on a whole other spectrum of thinking and knowing and learning. Um, and so I feel like the acronym could even be expanded more and um, most knowledge production could be brought in to incorporate lots of different ways of knowing. Humanities, I think, even more generally could relate, right? Um, even when we think of arts, maybe we do still think of writing and literature and um, different types of making and knowledge production, but I think we often think about visual art, at least for me, I guess that's my own bias, but I mean, I even think um, completely disparate disciplines have a lot to say to each other.